When you live in the basketball capital of the world, March is the best month of the year. Follow the Huskies on WTIC News Talk 1080. Welcome back to celebrating 26 years of UConn on WTIC. Jody Ambrosio with Bob Joyce. UConn men's basketball returned to our airwaves Saturday afternoon in November in Springfield. Huskies lost to Glenn Big Dog Robinson and Purdue 73-69 in the Hall of Fame tip-off classic. UConn didn't go to the NCAAs in 93. They did in 94-95. But it was the 96 team led by Ray Allen, Daron Sheffer, and Travis Knight that got hot. They ran off 23 straight wins at one point before losing at Georgetown. Huskies and Hoyas would meet on Saturday night, March 9th, in the Big East Championship game at Madison Square Garden. Georgetown led by 11 with just under five minutes to go. But Kirk King and Ricky Moore led a 10-0 run to get UConn within one with 30 seconds to play. Moore with 10, penetrates left, almost stumbles, gives it to Allen, goes right, gets bumped, has to throw it up, around it in! Huskies up one, 12 seconds to go, 75-74, UConn nine seconds to go. Iverson goes right, bears to the left, puts it up in traffic, off the back of the rim, no good. Williams rebounds it up, no good, rebound, touchdown, it's over, it's all over. UConn is the Big East Conference champ. After missing 14 straight shots, Allen with the game winner in UConn's second Big East Tournament Championship. UConn would come up short to Mississippi State in the Sweet 16 that year. In 1998, the Huskies were again in the Big East Final, this time against Syracuse, trailing by eight with eight and a half to play. There's Hamilton, tricky dribbling up the middle. Rip takes it, dishes down, low on the right. Moore lays it up and in. And Jim Beheim's going to take a timeout. Holes gives it on the right. Harden it, penetrates, pulls up, down low Jones, and he brings it back out. Didn't have the shot, gets it to Moore. Up top, Harden it. On the left, Hamilton goes left, gets bumped, double team, throws it out to Harden it. With 10 on the clock, he penetrates, stops, pops, and hits. First two of the game for Hardnett from the left wing, and UConn's up three with 4.25 to go. Gets it, drives along the lane, in the corner, Hamilton for a three, around out, Vosco with the rebound, he brought it down, got stripped, throws it out to Moore, and they reset. Fifth Vosco rebound, Elamine left corner three, good. Loose on the floor, Hardnett dives, gets it to Elamine, he sprints past Bergen, drives the leg to the floor, and lays it in. And Jim Beheim calls for time. Gets the two screens, now drives right, throws it inside to Thomas, jump hook short, rebound Vosco. Gets it out to El Amin, throws it up ahead, Jones runs onto it, he drives, lays it up, in, and he's fouled by Bergen. And Rashmel Jones showing some emotion as he high-stepped it up the sideline. Vosco gets the ball from Ted Valentine. Home run ball for Hamilton, who catches it and spins with eight. Holds it outside with six. Syracuse won't guard him. And for the second time in three years, UConn has won the Big East title. Huskies would lose in the Elite Eight that year to North Carolina, but it was a game that set the tone for the next season. The 98-99 Huskies won their first seven games, including easy wins over Washington and Michigan State. The conference season started December 12th at Pittsburgh, where the crowd at Fitzgerald Fieldhouse was merciless in their abuse of Khaled el -Amin. Panthers would lead by as many as nine in the second half, and they led by seven, heading for the final minute. Down to a minute to go. Khaled goes right, gets bumped, leaves for Hamilton, curls to the left, dishes back to el -Amin for a three. It's good! And UConn takes a timeout. Off to Elamine. UConn still has a 20-second timeout left. Here's Collett. Gets a pick. This is on the left. Mooring for three. It's good! And UConn uses its final timeout with nine seconds to go. They do not have a timeout left. They lob it in. They throw it in the backcourt. The ball's going to go on. Oh, Freeman shouldn't have touched it. Here comes Mooring. Off to Elamine with seven. UConn down one. Here's Collett. Takes it to the left. Spins. Puts it up. And in! With two seconds to go. UConn up. They throw it to Hawkins, puts it up, no good, UConn wins, UConn wins, Colin Alamein, hoisted to his, to the shoulders of his teammates, looking right in the face of those students that were on him all game long, he pointed at those students and said right back at you. The Huskies went on to win another Big East Tournament title and for the third time in five years reached the Elite Eight, playing Cinderella Gonzaga in Phoenix. El Amin didn't make a field goal, but the Huskies battled and led in the final nine seconds with Kevin Freeman at the line. Freeman puts up, and he hits. 13 for Freeman. 
Here's Cavalry. Long inbounds. Pass. It's deflected. It's stolen by Freeman in the corner. He throws the ball up in the air. It's caught by Moore. The game is over. The UConn Huskies will go to the Final Four. What once was a dream is now reality. The Huskies go to the Final Four. The Huskies heading to the trop to play old friend Jim O'Brien at Ohio State. Where Richard, where Richard Hamilton led the way. Elamine on the inbound. Starts to the left with nine. Elamine looking for Hamilton. Drives right. Starts to take it in. To Hamilton. Moves left. Puts it up. And in. With the shot clock running down from the right side of the lane. The Huskies won to advance to the final. A game you'll hear next hour. In 2002, Karan Butler led UConn to the Big East final against Pittsburgh. Huskies led 66-63 with 35 seconds to go. Took in the ball out of bounds with the shot clock nearly expired. Two on the shot clock. Robertson will inbound. Throws it to Talik Brown. He hoists from 30. It's good! It's good! What a shot by Brown! 35-footer! Huskies would win 74-65 for their fifth Big East tournament title. Pitt got revenge the next year in the championship game. Setting up the winner-take-all third game in 2004. Again, the game comes down to the final minute. Huskies down one. Talik outside to Armstrong. Moves to the left. Now holds off to Gordon. Drives to the right. Stutter steps left into the lane. Pulls up and hits the winner in the lane. 21 for Gordon. He ties Iverson's Big East record for points in a tournament. Huskies up one. 26 seconds to go when Pittsburgh takes a timeout. Ben Madison Square Gordon with the game-winning shot. UConn would win 61-58. Ben with 23. Name the gay Dave Gavitt MVP. Now, earlier that season, the Huskies and Villanova engaged in an epic battle at the Wachovia Center. Cats up three late when the gunslinger took matters into his own hands. Here's Gordon again, looking to inbound. Gets it to Okafor, gives it to Gordon, drives the baseline, throws it back. Anderson fakes, puts up a three, and he ties it with seven seconds to go. His first hoop of the game, Rashad Anderson. And I don't understand why Villanova didn't foul him. The game went to overtime with Nova up by one with 10 seconds to play. Gordon near midcourt with 11. Starts to penetrate. Gets double team. Goes right. Gets inside. Banks no good. Boot tips it in. Boot time puts you got up with 5.5 seconds to go. Josh Boone with the putback hoop. And the Huskies lead it by one. The home team had one more chance to win, but UConn's man in the middle had other ideas. Snowden. Gets it into Sumter. Sumter off to Foy at midcourt. Foy goes right, gets a screen. Okafor falls, blocks the shot, and the game is over. The game is over. Okafor blocked the shot, and UConn wins it. 75-74. The Huskies have won it. Okafor slipped, but he got to his feet and blocked the shot, and UConn survives. Well, the Huskies would get to the Final Four in San Antonio, and again... You hear about more and more about those two games next hour. UConn would again go to the Final Four in 09 in Detroit, but lost to Michigan State in the semis. They were led by A.J. Price and freshman guard Kemba Walker. Now, two years later, Walker led the Huskies on a magical three-day run in Maui, starting with 31 against Wichita State, then another virtuoso performance in the semifinals against Draymond Green and those Michigan State Spartans. Kemba walks it across with 13 seconds to go. Walker starts right, then left. Now stop and go. Now left. Fade away. Jumper is good. Walker puts UConn up by one. The Maui Invitational with just the start of Walker's heroics. January 8th at Texas. The Huskies trailed by one with the clock winding down in overtime. With 13 seconds to go. Walker starts right. Then left. Now stop and go. Now left. Fade away. Jumper is good. Walker puts UConn up by one. Huskies would go on and win that game. Those heroics paled in comparison to what Kemba did at the Big East Tournament in MSG. Pittsburgh win? Yeah, we'll get to that later. The next night after Pittsburgh, it was Syracuse in the semifinals. Olander inbounds to Walker. Walker, Napier, Beverly. Olander and Oriaki. Napier left sideline. Gives it back to Walker. Right behind an Oriaki screen. Arcs a three and he hits. 22 for Walker. 50-44, the Huskies. 10-15 to play. But Kemba had some help in overtime from a freshman 
named Jeremy Lamb. Walker holes. Shot clock at 17. High post only. Lamb open three. No! And Syracuse calls for time. Walker begins dribble penetration, still deep outside. 16 on the shot clock. Olander up to set a screen. Snaps right to Lamb. Drives inside, floats it up and in. 11 for Lamb, UConn up three. UConn would win 76-71 on the next night. Tried to make it five wins in five days. Playing Louisville for the conference title. And Lamb again came through in the clutch. Kemba. Against the 2-3 as the front converges, goes right, holes, penetrates inside, dishes underneath, Lamb lays it in! Huskies up one, 33 seconds to go. UConn would end up winning that Big East Tournament Championship, Walker 130 points in five days, the tournament MVP. UConn then proceeded to the NCAAs, where in Anaheim, in the regional final, they're led by two with the Cats with the ball, Looking for the win. Hill against Lamb. Almost loses. Gets it off the fog. Up top, Williams. Pump fakes. A three for the lead. Off the back rim. No. It's tipped up in the air. It's grabbed by Fox. Kicks to the right. Horn a three. Off the back rim. No. It's slapped up. It's put up at the buzzer. No good. No good. Houston. Hello. The Huskies are on their way to the final four. The 65-63 win moved UConn to Houston, where they beat Kentucky, then outlasted Butler in the final. Slapped out by Gafai. It's grabbed by Lamb with seven. He'll dribble out the clock, and the most improbable national championship in UConn history is in the books. It's a UConn national championship. Once, twice, three times a national champ for the UConn men. It was not Wayne being shot there. Kevin Ollie moved from assistant to head coach when Jim Calhoun retired after the uh, prior to the 12-13 season. In 2014, Shabazz Napier did his best Kemba impersonation in Gamble in December against the Gators. Napier guarded by Prather. Napier with Ted gets a screen, goes to the right, loses the dribble, picks it up, bobbles it, gets it back, puts up a shot. Back rim, no, tipped up, Napier's jumper, he's gone, at the buzzer, and Shabazz Napier wins it for the Huskies. They've got to go to the videotape and check it, but there were five tenths of a second left when Napier hit the second chance hoop, and UConn apparently wins the game 65-64. to 64. And it would be Napier who led the Huskies to the promised land again, this time in Arlington, Texas, in the final against Kentucky. Napier, 13 on the clock for three. Good! Oh, Shabazz Napier with 13. 33-20, UConn. And when the Cats made a run at game's end, it was Napier's backcourt brother, the Boat Show, who was clutch. Stutter steps, drives, pulls up over Randall, and he hits! Boat right. More guts than a slaughterhouse. Four minutes to play. UConn up six. 56 50. And in the end, it was an amazing six game run to the title for the Huskies. 14 to go. A long three. Around out. Rebound tip. Grabbed by Andrew Harrison. Right corner three. Side of the rim, no good. Rebounds left around. Grabbed by Boat right. Five seconds to go. Boat right's into the front court. This Texas two step is a big dance that will last forever. UConn is the national champion. Boat right would show his flair for the dramatic the next year at the XL Center in the AAC quarterfinals against Cincinnati. Boatwright gets the inbound in the backcourt, 12 seconds to go, tied at 54. Boatwright with eight. Boatwright to midcourt with six. Boatwright goes right, picked up by Ellis, a three. Good! 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 And Ryan Boatwright sends the Huskies to Saturday. The next year was the AAC quarterfinals in Orlando against the Bearcats. The Huskies needing a hero to send the game to a third overtime. Adams races to the front court. Purvis on the right with 10. Back to Adams. Adams goes left. Jump stop. All the way. Banks it in. Ties the game. Five seconds to go. Here's Copain. Gets bumped at midcourt. Steps in. A jumper. No good. We'll go to overtime number three. 
And in that third overtime, the Huskies and Bearcats tied with 10 seconds to play. Copain one-on-one -on -one with seven. Takes a three. Back rim now. Rebound Ellis. Gets it out. Johnson for the win. It's good with eight tenths of a second to go. Huskies get it into Adams. Full court heave. May it. He hits. He hits. He hits. From midcourt, Jalen Adams with eight tenths of a second to go. They'll go to the monitor. And it appears Jalen Adams, with a miraculous heave, has tied the game at 88. The shot heard around the country, lifting UConn to a four-overtime win in an eventual conference tournament championship. And you know you can't do all the highlights in 26 minutes. We barely, or 26 years, we in two hours, we barely scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. Couldn't even make mention of Karan Butler, who had the greatest half any UConn player ever had in the second half of the loss to Maryland. In Syracuse. In the, in the Big East, in yeah. the NCAA uh, regionals in Syracuse. Uh, certainly there were uh, there were shots. There's so many, uh, so many memorable men's moments. But when you think of all the buzzer beaters that I've been able to call in 26 years of doing these games, I mean, I get more in one year than a lot of broadcasters get in a lifetime. This team always seemed to have a flair for the dramatic. Right, they did, and they had some guys that were big step-up players. Khaled El Amin, uh, the one we played against Pittsburgh, he never was afraid to have the ball in his hands late. In fact, even the national championship game in which they won, he had the last field goal, if I remember right, drive to the hoop with a minute to hey, go. You might hear that next time. Yeah, hour. maybe, and, uh, you know, we know what Kemba can do. You'll hear that. And the, as we heard, Shabazz also had the flair. But they've had some really good ones. And Ray Allen, of course, the 96 Big East Championship game will forever go down as one of the great games in Big East tournament history. Yeah, just an amazing game against Allen Iverson and Georgetown from start to finish. Well, we have only scratched the surface. Coming up next hour, we'll take a look at women's highlights. So many of those. Hockey, baseball, and then, yes, the top ten games in the 26 years that WTIC has been the voice of the Huskies. Bill Pierce has news coming up at the top of the hour. I'm Jody Ambrosio with Bob Joyce. Glad you are with us to help celebrate 26 years of UConn on WTIC News Talk.